Yes, yes, people, welcome back to the Daily Roundup. We're going to be doing one of these a day for the rest of the transfer window. These kind of work well only during transfer window times, but it's good in case people miss streams or you don't really want to tune into long, hour-long streams and that. It's good for short and down content, getting the news out in a short form. Around, we'll keep it around 10 minutes long maximum, uh, get as much news out as possible, and we'll collate everything that's happened in the day. Um, and I, I imagine going forward with all the transfer rumours that's going on, it's a good place place to uh to, to, to see all the news in one one space. Um, if you haven't already, do us a favour, hit the like button, subscribe channel if you are new, get the notification bell turned on so you know that when these go live, it'll be around 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock every single day. We're going to keep these going. Um, like I say, especially for the, this transfer window where hopefully City gets some signings done. So, straight on to it. Pep Guardiola, apparently... Uh, we'll travel to Abu Dhabi this week uh, alongside Cheeky to meet with Khaldun uh, to discuss his future at Manchester City. This is according to Marsa. Also, the plan is to first lay the foundations for next season and resolve matters concerning the futures of uh, key City players. So, uh, talking about like he wants like Bernardo Silva potentially, looking at Kyle Walker's future potentially, uh, maybe looking at new contracts. Phil Foden rumored to be getting a new contract in the near future, um, getting things like that sorted, nailed down, and then. Also looking at Pep Guardiola's situation, Cheeky and Ferran also who could leave in 2025. So that's City basically getting all that out of the way with um, we Pep usually goes to Abu Dhabi after every season. They do speak about the next season coming up and the plans and, and what they want to aim for and achieve. However, they'll definitely be having the conversation with uh, Pep about his future and also Cheeky and Ferran just to see where we're at. We don't want to be in um, a bad situation in 2025 and have to panic. It's good to get that uh, knowledge out of the way with. And you never know, maybe... It could be convinced to sign in a new contract. We had rumours about that a few weeks ago. Um, so, yeah, Pep's going to travel to Abu Dhabi this week. Hopefully get some more news about that, maybe the end of the week. Um, next up, a player that's kind of disappeared. Um, someone that we all got gassed about last season. Um, I still get questions on streams now about him. And it's Maximo Perone. Now, I don't know if you remember this guy. I used to put him in our lineups as a Peroni bottle. Uh, Maximo Perone, he came into the side. I think he played once came off the bench once or something like that I can't, I can't really remember uh but he was he was tipped to be the next bright future aspect uh, or prospect and he um it kind of didn't nothing really happened with him uh, we didn't really get the game time at city so we loaned him out i've not really heard anything from him since or anything about his future however He's been talking today and he says they've reached an agreement that there's going to be one more loan. So he's going to go on loan one more time. One more year in La Liga would be the best. I think we have to look at the options. It's still very early. You have to take it calmly and choose the best option. That's according to Sport Witness. Um, so Maximo Perone is saying City have agreed one more. One more loan. Now, that's that could be a good thing or a bad thing. They could be saying one more, and if you don't do anything that in that loan spell, then you're gone. Or it could be one more, and you're coming back to City then, and um, we can utilise you here at the football club. So there could be a chance for Maximo Perone to still have a future at this football club. Get me Maximo Perone ball. Last season, we was all calling for him to start, and yeah, there's a potential. There's a potential that Perone uh, could have a future. Uh, wish him all the best with the next loan. Um, next, someone who's gone um, is Luis Fiorini, I believe, captain, uh, EDS. Um, he's agreed a deal to join Stockport County in a permanent deal. Uh, that's a spe uh, Sports Pete Oracle. Um, he's now gone, so wish him all the best for his future. Um, Real Sociedad's president, uh, Jacqueline Aperibay, could have butchered that, seems to be working on convincing City to accept a loan deal with a purchase option for Sergio Gomez, um, as well as the inclusion of a high sell-on clause. Uh, now, Sergio Gomez is a player that <laughs> is definitely not a left-back. He's played multiple positions. I think he plays right wing for Spain. Does quite well right wing for Spain, but um, I, he's just not a full-back for us. He's not. He's not. Pep, Sergio Gomez coming on is Pep's version of the Poznan. He's basically just saying, game's won. Yeah, Gomez, go have go have a run out. Now, it's a shame because he's a City fan and I, I wanted him to do really well. But I think him moving on in this window is, is the best option for him. I think a loan deal suits. Um, and yeah, a loan deal with a permanent deal to buy. Can't really go wrong with that. And we get a sell-on clause just in case he becomes a world beater. I'm all for it. I'm all for it. I think that's, that's the best option for uh, Sergio Gomez. 
Next up, um, a player that we all, well, a lot of us want, me being one of them, I do I do want him at the football club, Joshua Kimmich. Um, according to Athletics, City is still understood to be wanting Joshua Kimmich this summer. Now, we had a full conversation in detail about this in the stream earlier today, so if you want to go back and watch that, um, then you can do. But it's... It's a weird one for me because we are looking at Bruno Gomerich, Douglas Louise. I know he's, he's been linked with Juventus now. They're apparently putting a bid in. Um, and yeah, I'm not really I'm not really certain on the uh, Joshua Kimmich deal at the moment. I think company would want to keep hold of him. Um, I think he's available for a lot cheaper than Bruno and he's a lot more versatile. But we have been rumoured to be looking at other options and more versatile players like in different positions who can just play the CDM role. Um, I'm just not sure. I'm just not sure really what the situation is with Kimmich. We've not really seen anything concrete. I think Bruno, that it's more. There's more smoke to that fire. It's it's heating up with the Bruno thing. So I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards Bruno. Um, personally, I think Joshua Kimmich would be it'd be incredible at City, but I think Bruno longevity. I think he'd do well in this City side, uh, but. Don't get me wrong, if we sign Josh Kimmich, I'd be absolutely buzzing. I think it's an in, it'd be an incredible signing and what an upgrade on Calvin Phillips that is. Uh, but yeah, it's good to just hear something from it because it's that rumour just went dead. So to hear that at least that we are actually uh, still looking at Joshua Kimmich, I think that's quite big. Um, next up, a player at City that I really don't want to leave and City definitely don't want to leave. They're pretty much putting the blocker on this. Uh, Julian Alvarez apparently has been open to a move away from City for several months. Um, although his first choice destination, Real Madrid, uh, will not happen. Uh, at least this summer. That's again according to Athletic. Now, Sergio, uh, uh, sorry, Julian Alvarez. I can imagine why he'd want to leave, given the fact that he, d he doesn't really play in his actual position. The guy's a striker. He usually plays our false nine, or he'll get dropped out onto the wing, or he'll play in midfield, and he doesn't really get the game time up, up front, which is unfortunate. But it's just how we are with with Haaland. We've got to find a way to play ball for them. So I can understand if he's frustrated and wants to move on, um, but. Personally, I think City should be wanting to keep hold of him. I think the price tag, we spoke about again this in, in, in today's uh, earlier stream, and the price tag on this should at least be upwards of £80 million. I don't think City would touch it unless it's over the £100 million mark with uh, the talent of, of Julian Alvarez. So whoever it is, obviously Real Madrid aren't going to come calling after they've just signed Mbappe. So whoever it is is going to have to pay cash. I don't see it happening. I think it's a non-burner. Non I think uh, myth busted really on that one. Unless Julian Alvarez actually puts in a transfer request, he'll be a Manchester City player next summer. Um, and lastly, to finish off today's uh, daily roundup, City are unlikely to activate Bruno Gomerich's £100 million release clause, despite the midfielder featuring high on their transfer list. Now, that's according to Jordan Cronin. Now, don't look at that the wrong way because, yes, it is unlikely that we're going to activate the £100 million release clause. That doesn't mean we won't, but it's unlikely. That doesn't mean that the, this deal's off. I think City will try and get him. They'll just try and get him a little bit cheaper than that £100 million release clause or try and work a deal um, and pay it off either, like in more instalments or they'll, they'll, they'll try and get it a little bit, just like say, a little bit cheaper than what that £100 million is. Um I, I believe Newcastle will try hold out for that £100 million, but I'm not sure how long that release clause lasts. I've seen a rumour a while ago that um, the £100 million release clause is until the 30th of June. So we've got basically, not, we've not got long to activate it really. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. I do still believe that Bruno Gomerius is our first choice. Now that the Paqueta deal's off, I think Bruno Gomerius is our first choice uh, transfer target this summer. So I think we'll go all out and get him. Um, how much that's going to cost, like say, I, I, th I think we will probably be looking at more towards the £100 million mark. Um, but I, I'm really excited to see him in a City shirt. If he does come, I'd love love to see him in a City top. I think he'll do really well. Um, like I say, and I know that's at the expense of a Joshua Kimmich, but I think I think he'll do well. But there are other options just in case that one goes wrong. I think City doing the spreading the net wide instead of putting our eggs in one basket. And I think that's the perfect thing to do. Obviously, you've got your Douglas Luiz, you've got your Jao Neves, you've got uh, Bruno, you've got Kimmich. There are options out there that I think City just at the moment are looking at Bruno as the most realistic option uh, for City to go to. And 
if all else fails, he does have that release clause in there where we can go and activate it. But that's that for your daily roundup. Um, again, like I say, we'll keep them short and sweet. Um, we'll just go through all the news that's happened in the last 24 hours. And um, yeah, you can all have your opinions in the comments below. Let us know about Bruno, Josh Kimmich. What do you think about that? Julian Alvarez potentially leaving. There was rumours to Chelsea. Um, and also subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure you like the video. Uh, let's us know that you want uh, this kind of short form content every day and uh, yeah click notification bell so you get notified every time that we drop one of these videos it'll be around say nine o'clock every single day now for the transfer window which is going to be a sweat uh, but big up to everyone and I'll see you in the next one <laughs>